You said something a moment ago about, that was brilliant again, you can't luck into a writing job. Maybe with acting you can just because you have that look and you could play this person or whatever, but you can't with writing. Can we talk yeah. about that? Well, I mean, it's just like, I think there's a, you assume that as a writer, you've put a lot of time into this. Like you, you, you can't just get off the turnip truck and be like, I'm a writer. You have to have written something and someone has to have read that and said, you know what, this is really good. You should write more, you know what I mean? And I think, I, I love writing. I love being a part of that community, you know, uh, of, people who are willing to to take that journey and like it's because it's a lot of work it's a lot of lonely time it's a lot of um being productive and you know it's like you see oftentimes you'll see um actors who haven't put that much work in you know or you'll see the actor who's put no work in but just has that thing you know what i mean and you just like man if you didn't have that thing but you do Okay, fair enough. But like, you know, with writing, you can't just do that. You have to, no matter how talented you are, you have to work at it. You have to get better at it all the time. And uh, so I feel like writers kind of give each other like a pass of like, <laughs> like, oh yeah, cool. You know, we're both writers. Uh, you know, because it's, it, it it's a small club and it's, uh, it's not something that's easy. And we know that about what each other does. Know what I mean? You said before when you were younger that sometimes you got tired of, of certain scripts and you know this was when you were like 10 or whatever mm. so it's a big difference but how do you stay with something so you don't get tired of it in terms of reworking it, doing more drafts, knowing that the idea is really good right. but... It, it, yeah, I mean it's hard, it's hard and I, I have this um, thing that as I get older is becoming more defined in who I am of like there's a lack of time. Like, I don't have time uh, to waste on something that is not going to go, right? So what helps me now, it's a double-edged sword. I like to write on something I'm going to make because I know that I'm going to make it. I know it's going to continue getting better because it has to, right? Get the notes, you know, and it also has, that's the motor in it because we want to shoot this this summer. So I'll keep writing on it and getting feedback and, you know, trying to, make it as complete as humanly possible before we shoot. Downside of that is I should be writing more specs. Like, you know, everybody should be writing spec scripts all the time in order to sell them. But that has been a disappointing path to me because I have these scripts that I love, that I worked very hard on, who have, it's gotten tons of great coverage. It's, you know, but they're floating out there, just floating, waiting for somebody to decide to make them, you know? And that's not as, um, for me, it's not as good a fuel as, well, I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this in four months, so it better be good. You know what I mean? Like that, that whole of, like, I have to keep working on it if I want to make a good product. Well, you also say you love, you're your best, you're your best Blaine when you're on set. Yeah. Which I've heard from other actors as well. Yeah. That they love being on sets, that's where all their friends are, that's what they live to do. So maybe in some sense, it's because it's you have the track record, yeah. you've finished them. A lot of people don't finish them. Yeah, I, it's true. It's very I'm in a I'm in a good position now where right now I'm either being paid to write a script, you know, which is, makes it very easy. I have to do this. I have to sit down and you know write, or I'm writing towards something that I want to make. Like I need to be more um, adventurous and say like, all right, I'm going to take the next four months and write something to sell but I always get distracted back on the things that I want to make. Right, and you said something about you were told that your films aren't high concept enough, so you think it's more character driven versus plot driven? I think so, yeah. I, I, I feel like my, uh, my voice is very dialogue uh, based, uh, very character driven. You know, like I care less about the the structure the the rules you know then I care about whether it's something I want to watch you know what I mean like I, I love the movie uh, uh, broadcast news right? broadcast news just kind of meanders you know it's like you know James Brooks right like just kind of hanging out like with these interesting characters and you get to watch you know Albert Brooks uh, you know be neurotic and uh, Holly Hunter this amazing performance but like it's all over the place I love that. I have to rein myself in from, from doing that kind of thing all the time. <laughs>